let's get to our next topic. This is the real humdinger. A mother of two, not all heroes wear capes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a mother of two has been praised online for an honest picture of her son's lunchbox. Devoid of the latest wellness and dietary trends, the lunchbox featured a simple sandwich and a pear, as well as a mammy rice snack snack sticks. I can't believe that this is... Well, I can't believe it. I'm not judging. This is the most amazing news story I ever had. It is a description. It is a picture of a lunchbox and the description of what is in the lunchbox. <laughs> and the mum who then posted this picture of a lunchbox is now being hailed as a hero. Todd Hayward, yeah. 30 seconds. I want you to blame this lunchbox or whatever it is on the left. Well, Joe, lunchbox shame is a big thing. It's happening all over Australia. Parents across the country are being pressured, not just by their, not by their kids, but by social media mm. and by um, the growing cult of bento boxes around the country mm. into feeling like they have to up their game. Again, by omission, the left really should be saying, well, you know, you're free. Mm. You, you are free to put whatever you want in your children's lunchbox. And if that is an incredibly dumb... And your time is up. I noticed, though, it only took 30 seconds for you to insert the casually racist term bento box. <laughs> yeah, I thought we just talked agents. about this. <laughs> we just talked about this. Um, Eamon, mm. well, you blame this on the right? I certainly Go. can, because it's all just about the need to do better, climb, climb here and there, be better than everyone else. i got to say what shocked me about this story is, as a father of four, three of whom have been through school and the lunchbox phase... That looked like a perfectly good lunchbox to me. I've made many of them. I would have been happy with that. That's right. I don't know. There's lots of fruit doing in there. I don't know. That's that going to come that's back. next level. I'm like, fruit? I wish I thought of that. What yeah. about having a space food sticks, by the way? Uh. So, yeah. Susie, I want to ask you, um, you are the only young and cool member of this panel. You do not have children, um, as far as we're aware. Um, as far as I'm aware. Did you see this and just go, right, that's it. I am never having kids ever in my whole life. No, Joe, I saw it and said, mmm, that looks like my lunch, and I feel like I'm coming up against the capitalist Instagram mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. of nutrition bowls. Ah. So that looks like my lunch, but they expect me to have one of those beautiful nutrition bowls like all these other influencers So capitalism do. is forcing you to be nutritious just so it can... <laughs> Well, to create a beautiful lunch. It's to create nothing, a beautiful lunch. capitalists, I say. Yeah, but, down, but with an Instagram account, surely you can get a free bowl. Somewhere. Somewhere <laughs> there's a free <laughs> bowl to be had. That's right. The mum is actually <laughs> trying to be a lunchbox influencer. God help us all.